Hey guys, Chris and Jamie from Tillman Family Farms. Uh, hadn't done a video in, in several weeks. We've been busy as we could be, uh, but I did want to catch you guys up. So uh, we've moved these chickens since the last time that, that we did a video and we released the piglets into their first pastured paddock about a week ago. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get in there with them and walk around and kind of show you what kind of damage uh, piglets can do, 16 piglets can do to an area that's probably 80 by 80, 80 by 90 maybe. So let's check it out and see what we've got going on. So here's the infamous normal damage. You get a, a nice water hole instead of in front of all of the uh, water barrels. But other than that, they've got them a little trail beat down through there so far. And one of the biggest things I wanted them to do was clean up under this tree right here, which they're doing an all right job right under the tree. Got them a little uh, area where they've been hanging out and doing their thing. But uh, I was trying to get them to knock down all this forage. But, uh, oh, looks like they've been doing a little work over here. It's the first time I've been in the paddock in a couple of days. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Whatever is in the dirt on that hillside, they like it. But uh, I just get followed around. So this guy, this is one of the guys that we got from James over at uh, Three Creek Farm. And uh, always excited. Ah, don't chew on me. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Anyway, these guys are doing good in here. Um, that was the training pin down there. And you can see right there is where we let them in. So I still got the training pin open right there. And I, I did take some video on this, so I'll probably slide that in here. Um, we were had intentions on doing uh, a video last weekend and man, we just got so busy. We just, it just didn't get done. But anyhow, that's where we let them in at. And we did decide to do this pin like Jordan uh, Green does. So we put a, stop. We put a uh, hot wire on the inside of the netting, but it's all hot. Netting's hot and the wire's hot. So, but as you can see, these guys are growing like crazy. Growing like crazy. It's a whole new world, buddy. Now he's actually moving. He's like, wow, this stuff's everywhere over here. So you can kind of look around behind me there and uh, there's still a lot of stuff in here. They really hadn't done too terribly much damage to it, maybe in places. Um, I have learned that the pigs will eat the milk thistle that's out here in this pasture. So really excited about that because I hate seeing that stuff growing out here. But um, we're gonna probably keep them in here at least the rest of this week. Today's Sunday. And then we're gonna move them that way. Uh, and then the chickens, which we have strategically placed somewhere back there, you can't see them. Yeah, you see it right there the chickens are gonna move into here and clean up behind the pigs and then they're just gonna follow the pigs all the way out. So that's where we're at. We'll go check on the chickens real quick, collect some eggs, put the feed out and uh, we'll see what else we can get into. So one of the biggest things that I wanna show you guys that we're struggling with how to do this with the rest of this big pasture. Um, but a couple videos back, y'all saw us run these two strands of hot wire right here to fence off this area where the pigs are gonna go. So this area has started to grow up pretty substantially compared to what is being grazed over here on a daily basis. Um, eventually, we'd like to get to the point to where this whole pasture's broke up like this so that we can day graze cows and paddocks can get the rest that they need. We run chickens behind them and all that kind of stuff. But I wanna show you the difference right now in I guess about three weeks or so. And, and this is a, this is actually a section of the pasture that really, really needs the soil to be amended from all the manure from these animals and it needs these pigs to kind of loosen it up some. So it's not growing great, but it is a big difference from right here. You can physically see where the cows and horses aren't grazing it. So let me show you that real quick. Oh, I'm, I'm noticing that this, uh, 
this video is not going to do this justice much at all. Um, anyhow, grass is growing on the other side of the wire. So it's a stupid milk thistle. But on this side, you can you can tell they've grazed it down pretty good. <coughs> um, but it just this just goes and goes and goes all the way to a back fence back here. Um, we've got our our S40 right here. It's currently off. I'll turn that back on. But uh, you can see it's, it's growing on up pretty good. So as they come up this way um all of this will get hopefully worked over pretty good and then it'll stay separated from the horses and cows until the pigs run all the way to this back fence and then these two wires are going to move over a whole nother section so from way over here somewhere all the way to this fence line in the woods um is going to be blocked off from the cows and horses so hopefully i will be able to set up a couple of paddocks here to start running the cows over and um that way we'll have an area to start that and, and all the paddocks are just going to have to slowly catch up but man we've got all of this pasture that needs to be broken up this way and um I, I can't wait. So we got about uh, either 19 or 20 head of cows and then a couple of horses and uh, a donkey that, oh, oh wait, yeah, let, let, yeah, we're gonna go look at that in a minute. We had a little surprise from the donkey the other day. But uh, anyhow, that's what we're working on. That's what we're working towards so we can rotational graze a little bit better than what we've been doing. So as I talk about what, how we've been rotational grazing, so this big pasture that I'm in is about I, I, it's got to be 15 to 18 acres and then there's a big section of woods over there that um, you know they use for shade and cover and everything else there's a pasture in the back back here that's about five acres um, and then right up here behind our pond it's probably about two and a half or three so we try to rotate between these three areas but it never gives this big pasture enough time to catch up so we're trying to devise a way to get to that but I just thought I'd give you a little perspective is what I'm talking about as far as rotational grazing and why we're doing it and, and how we're trying to achieve a better rotational graze than what we're doing now. So there you go. That was a big time surprise the other day. Biggest reason that it was such a surprise, uh oh, got part of a thing, um, is that when that donkey came here about a year ago, she had a phone with her and we had no idea that donkeys could be pregnant as long as they were so donkey was really really fat and jamie and i kind of joked about it and joked about it and then we got a little suspicious about it and we were like no nah, there's no way you know it's been here too long there's not another there's not another donkey here but uh, lo and behold there's a baby donkey hiding over there behind that cow mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, on to birds. So you see, this is the brooder house behind me. Um, brooder house is cleaned out. Let me take you over there and show you that real quick. So this is where we brood our meat birds. Uh, I cleaned all the shavings and everything out of here yesterday from the last group that was in here. Got a, normally there's a couple more heat lamps and hanging there, but um, this is all cleaned out, ready to go. And we had a group of egg birds, egg replacement birds that are over here growing. So they've been moved over here. And um, then we moved all of our meat birds out into the uh, chicken tractor. So let me show you that real quick. So this one right here has just got a couple of the smaller egg birds in it that were not quite ready to go in that other uh, pen right there. But this is one of our chicken tractors. These are chicken tractors over here with meat birds in them and some, yes, and yes. some pretty while legs. Yes, he's uh, videoing, Mama's working hard. Well, I mean, somebody's got to do the work. <laughs> <laughs> and then these guys are looking good. 
Good, good, good looking birds. Oh, 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 sorry. Um, but anyhow, that's what we got going on with chickens. So these guys are probably three, maybe four weeks away from being processed. Um, but we will order some more chicks to go in the brooder so that once these are cleaned out, we just move them right on in. So we'll probably do, I think this is probably about 55 or so. Is that about right, James? What? 55 or 60 birds right here. Yeah, yeah so 55 or 60 birds and- You just lose count. Yeah, we lose count sometimes. But anyhow, I'm a, let me put this thing down and help her before I get in a lot of trouble. Now let me show you a little pig action. Um, this group of five right here uh, has been in this loadout paddock. Um, this paddock is beat up bad before I show it to you, but there is almost nothing in here, but it's simply because we've had back-to-back -back pigs from one month to the next, and we feed them on this trailer for a couple of weeks uh, before we uh, send them out so to make sure that they will get on the trailer nice and easy. So I got five in this paddock right here that are go. Um, these guys were the slow growers. That's why I separated them out. And they still are not really at the weight that I want them, but they are way old enough and I am not going to keep putting feed and labor into them to, to end up losing a little money on them. So, um, let me show you these guys. And this is our loading ramp right here, but they have gotten really accustomed to going on here. I bet I can probably shake the side of this trailer and they'll go running on there. Let's see what they do. They're just not quite as thick. They hadn't grown out quite as well as I would have liked for them to do, but you, you can see this paddock. I mean, you can see everything on the other side of it's grown up, but these guys have been in here for a little while. Um, anyway, that's them. And uh, let me see if I can bang on this trailer to see what they do. I don't want them come running out. <laughs> Let's see what they do. See, they got one of my boards messed up in there. We just fed them not too long ago, so they're probably not interested right this minute. But anyhow, a little pig action. We just actually pushed the boar in with all the girls again to try to get the three girls bred. Let's go take a look at that. Track them down. They're down here uh, making friends at the mud hole. You know, like the teenagers these days, they go to those mud parks, meet a girlfriend. It's exactly what's going on right here. But there he is. Rip is in here, and he's going to have Beth, which it's possible that she's already bred. He's been in with her about a month ago, and we're not sure. But we're running them back together for now. And then Gertrude. Oh, there's big girl. So, uh, the piglets that I showed you out in the pasture earlier are Gertrude and Lila's. Lila's over here behind me, covered in mud. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, that's what we got going on, trying to get these three girls bred. And then this cute little lady right here is one that we held back from Gertrude this last time. She's not old enough, but I, I don't even think the, the uh, ergonomics and the geometry would work out. He's much, much, much bigger than her, so I don't think there's any issues there. Marking that territory. Do your thing, big guy. Do your thing. So, guys, that's it for this video. I know it's a little bit of a, a hodgepodge video. Um, didn't really have anything, um, you know, big planned going on today. Um, I do have some projects that are about to get started, some for the pasture pigs out there in the pasture. Uh, and then um, we got some water projects that are going to be going on. We're having some 
some water issues getting water in certain places um so we're gonna we're gonna build a water trailer with a pump and all that kind of stuff but for this one today that's all we got but i want to put something out there because i've been slacking so bad so um we appreciate you guys watching if you haven't done so go down and like and subscribe there's all sorts of videos on the channel backtrack see what we got and uh we'll see you on the next video